All right, so I'm sure a lot of you are still hearing sample drill beats everywhere, especially in the New York drill scene. The samples always seem to be from hits from the early 2000s, and for some reason, they just bang. They must have been hits for a reason, and I think the drill remixes reach a wider audience because you got the Gen Zs who already like drill, and then millennials who recognize the sample from when they were growing up. So I want to show you how I sample and flip things into New York drill beats so you can make your own. So let's get straight into it. Alright, so to actually find samples to flip, you could start off by doing something as simple as a Google search. I could literally type in early 2000s hits. And then I could look through some of these links. Rolling Stone has 100 best songs of the 2000s. So this would actually be a good place to start. Or you could do something similar on YouTube and type in, let's just go early 2000s hits. And if you look here, people actually create playlists. So it's going to save you the hard work. And then to actually take the audio, I just use a free Chrome extension called Sample. You just hit record when the song's playing, press record again. You can play it all the way through or just the section you want to sample hit stop and then you can download the audio file and the sample that i'm going to be using is britney spears toxic i think the actual song's sick the beat in it's crazy and i haven't really heard anyone make it into a drill beat yet so i think it could be the perfect one so i went ahead and downloaded toxic and then i uploaded it to a site called moises i think that's how you pronounce it and moises has actually separated the tracks for me so you can see i've got the vocals drums bass and other i wanted to take the bass out and the drums so i've just left the vocals and everything else let's just see what it's done baby can't you see I'm calling. Oh, that's pretty crazy. It's never going to be perfect, but using something like this or Lalal is going to be way easier than trying to EQ out the drums. This one even gives me the BPM and the keys, so it's going to save me a ton of time. So to download them, I just hit export. Okay, so I've just dragged both the stems into FL. I'm going to match the BPM to start with, which is 143. Perfect for drill anyway, but New York drill tends to be a bit faster. Now, the first thing I want to do is make sure it's in time. So I'm just going to keep the metronome on. All right, so it needs to start somewhere like here. Baby, can't you see? So if I zoom in, I'm just kind of looking where that transient hits. I'm yeah, that should be right. Okay, so I want it to start here. All right, so I might take that intro later, but for now, I just want it to start from here. Baby, can't you see? I'm actually going to bring that a tiny bit forward. I'm also going to take this chord here and then bring it back to the beginning just because there isn't one here and it might sound a bit weird if it starts off blank. Baby, can't you see? I'm there we go. Now I've just clicked in it and I'm making sure that both of them are set to stretch and I want to pitch it up a bit. Let's go like three. Baby. I'll have to do this one as well. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling. Then that might work better. Now I'm just going to send them both to mixers. So I've got the sample and the vocal and usually I just root them to the same boss because then if I add any effects here, it's going to add it to both of them but i'm going to start by cleaning up that guitar so i'm just going to use x noise to get rid of some noise then the eq to take out the lows and even the highs up until about here just going to add a tiny bit of chorus too about there and then a compressor before the chorus just to tame some of the peaks and then on her vocal i'm just going to start by filtering them baby can't you see i'm calling so I'll just bring down the high mid a bit too. Save room for an artist vocal. And then on the bus, I'm just going to add a little bit of reverb. And also on the vocals, I'm just going to pan them a little bit and then bring the mix down. I'm just going to hear them going between both ears. It sounds a bit more interesting. I'll actually bring them down too. I'm actually going to add a tiny bit of delay as well. Let's bring the mix down. It's going to take out a few more highs. Okay, let's bring the BPM up. I'm thinking somewhere between 150 and 160. Let's try 154. And you know what, for the sample, I don't even want to try and rearrange it or anything. I really like the chords in the actual song. And with these New York drill beats, the sample's always really simple. It's literally just taking the sample like this and then putting drums on it. But if you want to understand how I chop and rearrange samples, I'll leave another video up here. So I'm going to keep all of this. And then I want this section over here. Could even keep that. I'm just going to move that to one side for now. Then I can bring this one back and then have these vocals come in. Yeah, like when this has got drums in, it'll sound crazy. Okay, let's run with this for now. We'll get these drums in. Let's go for this 420 count snare, but we'll tighten it. Yeah, about there. As always, we just start with a simple bounce. Baby, can't you see? Then we could bring the velocity of some down. Baby, can't you see? I'm and then add some rolls like this. 
So I'm just holding right click and then dragging up. Or you can left click and do a manual one. So maybe we'll have it like that. Then we can copy this over. And then we'll make it a bit crazier at the end. Could we even match the sample? Yeah, that sounds sick. And then for the snare, my favorite one to use is probably the squeeze one. Yeah, that might work. All right, for the eight way, I'm gonna go with one of the new ones, this fragment one. Few more notes in. Oh, we could try one of the old ones. This dark one could work. Get a few more notes in here. We could slide these ones up though. And then maybe just some more at the end. So with the kick, I'm just using the bass kick from our grease kit. But in pre-computed effects, I've just brought the boost up. With these New York drill beats, you can really push the kick. But it doesn't matter where you put the volume up from. You could do it from here. You could do it from there. Or you can do it from the velocity down here. It really doesn't matter. They all really do the same thing. I just like it in pre-computed effects because you can see the waveform move up. It's literally it. I could pitch it down a bit though. All right, I'm changing my mind with the 808 again. And I'm going to go to this cycle one. With these type of beats, I feel like the bass just really needs to be in your face. I think I should do it. Alright, let's get a couple of perks in as well. Then we could just pan those two. Let's get one perk like this in as well. Could even push that up. Get rid of this one. I'm actually gonna pin that pair down. Right there. Okay, next I'm just gonna get a clap in there. I'm just gonna get this gunshot in as well. Alright, then I'm gonna come to my drum fills. I think this fill will sound sick, but without any drums. So maybe when I arrange it, I could have something like this. Oh, this sounds crazy. So yeah, definitely gonna use that somewhere. Okay, I'm thinking we need a riser as well. This razor one's one of my favorites, but I'm gonna pitch it up and up too. I'm just adding this stomp as well, but only one here. I'm just gonna grab this little stomp and fill combo too. All right, still need to make more changes, but I'm gonna split the drums for now. I wanna change the 808 a few times. I just want to pitch them down. And then just go a bit wild at the end. It's a 
a bit mad, but I like it. Maybe I'm gonna pan those too. I think because the sample's so simple, I don't mind going crazy with the drops. Yeah, there we go. All right, so this bit here, I'm gonna have to change the bass again because the chords change. Or what I could do actually is turn this section into a bit of a Jersey drill beat. I'm just gonna take a spin eight away, set it to cut itself, and we'll just bring that out. We'll boost it too. This one's just gonna go like this. Yeah, this bit sounds bad. Then just change it here to match the vocal. What I could also do is just copy that pattern and then layer it with a counter snare. And then I'm gonna add some delay in this section. I think we can get a click in there as well. Just simple. And we're just going to get this gun sound in. I could even take that per kit and then create some kind of bounce with this. So I've just brought everything down except for the hold. And now I can have some short notes. Okay, and then we're just getting this feeling at the end. <laughs> He's sounding so mad. Right, I think that might be enough. So let's do a quick structure. Then I'll bring this filler back. Yeah, that's hard. Of course, I gotta have my usual drop. I'm gonna save those perks. And then, yeah, the perks can come in here. And then I think I could cut all the drums before the jersey bit. Yeah, that transition's bad. And then, you know what? I think I can just copy that over and just have these two sections repeat. Yeah, this bit sounds sick. Actually, instead of copying the vocals, let's take this over verse. All right, and then just to finish it, I've copied the hook over. But I'm gonna have a drill 808 here instead. finish the track like this all right i'm finally done i thought this was going to be a quick beat and i've been working on it for like two hours so let's hear it from the beginning so yeah just starting off with the original sample and then straight into the drill section i could hear someone like k flock all over this Got a new 808 pattern on the perks. I think that was the trick with the speed. Just keep adding things and then bringing them back out. I think this bit sounds so hard. And then we've got the count snare coming in. So, yeah, if you want to see me cook up with stop plugins, Click up here, or if you want to see me make Indian drill, click up here.